Hey everybody, it's Joe Baker with the Edit Bay. Today I'm going to show you guys a quick way to migrate your third-party plugins from a previous version of Adobe CC to the current version. So two days ago, Adobe released Creative Cloud version 2015.3, and I'm sure by now everybody has those apps updated and installed on their machine. And what it did is it basically uninstalled the previous version of, say, Premiere After Effects Audition and reinstalled the newer version. So although that update process is relatively painless, you're going to have to migrate your third-party plugins over into the new version. None of that carries over. So you can just go ahead and run your installers as, as usual um, and just do it manufacturer by manufacturer by manufacturer. But in my case, I have Trap Code Particular. I actually have a legacy version of Trap Code Particular. And the current version of Particular is version 2.5. I have version 2. So Red Giant, although they updated their installers for most of their apps, this is a legacy version of Particular we're talking about. So if when I launch the installer for Particular, it simply didn't recognize the newest version of Adobe After Effects. So here's what you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up File Explorer, click on this PC, go to my C drive, Program Files, Adobe, and as you can see, I actually have two After Effects folders right here. Now it did uninstall After Effects 20, actually I have three, um, it did uninstall these previous versions of After Effects, but it did keep the file structure. So if I go into, this is the older version of After Effects here, Support Files, Plugins, you can see I've got trap code here. And trap code actually contains particular. So all I need to do is right click, copy this file. Now I'm gonna go back. This is the current version of After Effects. I'm gonna open that up, go to support files, down to plugins, and then I'm just going to paste. Now I had already pasted this in here prior to starting this tutorial, but you get the idea. And you can do this with basically all of your plugins. If you can uh, it can even be something that the manufacturer has currently updated their installers to be able to do if you want to just copy and paste these over. Simple and easy way to do it. Until next time, this is Joe Baker with the Edit Bay.